All right, hey there, everybody. What I'm going to show you today is how to enable and record a bit of automation for a plugin parameter. Let's begin by just looking at what we've got in this session here. I've got an expand plugin, and it is being played by this MIDI track. Okay, so the same chord progression just repeats over and over again. And now, on the expand, there's several parameters that you have for adjusting the quality of the sound. What I'm going to use as an example today is cutoff frequency, which is this knob here. So let me just play back that same little bit, and I'm going to play it for, say, four bars without doing anything. But then I'm going to start adjusting the cutoff frequency, just so you can become familiar with what this parameter sounds like, so that when we do the automation, it'll become a little bit more apparent what is happening. So here we go. Okay, so you can hear what adjusting the cutoff frequency does to the sound. Now what we need to do is we want to automate that, but before we can do that, we need to actually enable this particular parameter for automation. And the way we're going to do that is we go up to this plugin automation window, and on the left-hand side of this window, we'll see all of the available parameters that can be enabled for automation for the expand plugin. If we have other plugins inserted on this track, they'll show up here in this little list and we could easily toggle back and forth between our different plugins to see which parameters for each one can be enabled. But in this example, I'm just going to use the expand synth plugin. So there it is, expand. Here's a parameter that I want to automate and I go add. Once I've done that, all I need to do is hit OK. Now you see that this little green light shows up beside the cutoff knob and that shows us that this particular parameter has been enabled for automation. Next thing we need to do is just record our automation. And so in order to do that, we need to put the automation mode selector for the track into write mode. And now that we've done that, you see that that little green light is now red, showing us that, hey, this track is actually enabled for automation and you've got it in automation write mode or one of the writable modes. So for now, we've got our track in write mode, and we want to play back the track and make some adjustments to the cutoff frequency knob using our mouse. So here we go. There we go. Okay, so I've written the automation. Now I'm going to put the track automation mode back to read. See, so we've got our green light again, and I'm going to hit return and play back. Now watch the knob, and this time, of course, I'm not going to be controlling it, but the automation is going to be playing back and making those adjustments for me. Okay, so that's basically how you enable parameter in a plugin for automation, and then really quickly how you just record and play back some automation. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you at the next tutorial.